card here. In Power BI, we're going to be creating a date card. Now, let's go ahead and get that started. So, in a date card, what are some of the reasons why you would need a date card? Possibly, you want to know on what day did we have the highest amount of sales or what day we had the lowest amount of sales. So, this is how you do this in Power BI. So, first, we're going to grab the simple card, the 123 card. And then, we're going to drag in the date. And by default, it's going to give us the earlier date. So how do we know that this is the earlier date? So let's just go ahead and create a simple table. So I'll just do a table here. And then I'll drag this over. And then we're going to add in a date. And I'll just change this to just regular date. And then I want to also add sales. I want to add profit. And I, and I want to add quantity. So now you can see here, if I click on this to give me the earliest date we see that that earliest date is November the 16th 2018 and it's a Friday now how do we know what's the latest date we know it's the latest date by just clicking it again and the latest date is November the 13th and then how do we how do we indicate this in the card so we go to the card by changing it from the earliest date to the latest date so when you change it to the latest date now we see that the latest date is November 13th 2022 now work scenario imagine we wanted to know on what day did we have the highest amount of sales and on what day we had the lowest amount of sales so to create this I'm just gonna do two simple cards so I'll just drag another card here and then I'll go ahead and expand this over so I'll just do another card with date in it so by default, it's going to default to the earliest date, which is fine. And I'll go back here and change this to earliest. So if we come down here to our table, we can see the date that we profited the most was on August the 29th of 2020, which was $114 in sales. And we also had a $100 profit. So how do we indicate this on our date card? So we come to our date card and what we want to do is we want to drag in date here. And again, we want to change our filter type to top in. So if we change our filter type to top in, we change our value to sales. We can say top in sales. We can say one, once we apply that filter, we should get this date here, August 29th. So I'll just go ahead and apply that filter. Once I apply that filter, we see that we get that date. And I'll just change this earliest date on the visual to date of highest sales all right so how do we flip this so we flip this by we come in here and if we come here and say all right give us the date of the lowest amount of sales we see that that is june the 24th of 22 so how do we flip this on this card we come here we make sure this card is selected again we want to drag in the date we want to change our filter type to top in but instead of top this time, we want to go, we want to filter this from the bottom. So we want to say the bottom and we want to rank this by the number one at the bottom. Then we want to bring in our sales again by the value. And when we hit apply filter, we should see this June 24 date. And we see this June 24 date. So then we can come here and we can change this name to date of the lowest sales. So now we have created two date cards, one date card to indicate the date of the highest sales and one date card to indicate the date of the lowest sales. Now you know how to create a date card in Power BI.